The Go-To Marketing Advertising Strategy Once you have your product and a website to sell it from, you have a few options to start selling. The simplest is to send potential customers directly to your sales page. Business very often is about finding a great product and then connecting that to the right audience. Finding a route to market. One way to do this is to find your route to market. This is a business term that basically means you're going to identify a way in which you can reach the audience you want to sell to. You might already have an audience that you built up before reading this book. Perhaps you're already a successful blogger on YouTube. That is now your route to market. Your access to the people that will buy what you're going to sell. But if you don't already have such an audience, the best strategy is just to find one that is sitting there waiting. In other words, don't build an audience and then try and find a product to fit. Choose a product because you're aware of an audience that's out there. Or find the audience and then find the product. A route to market could be any of the following things. A Facebook page. A forum or online community. A subreddit a magazine, a real-world club or class, promoting via social media. Some fantastic routes to market that exist on social media and social sharing sites that are completely free to use are Facebook pages, Google Plus communities, subreddits. If you have tried social media to sell before and it hasn't worked, you are probably doing it wrong. If you want to share products on a forum, for example, then it's key that you first build up the trust and authority there. Post regularly, answer questions, help people out, and generally make yourself popular there before you try and sell. If you sign up and then immediately try to sell, then you'll be banned, or at least your post will be ignored. You need to post things that are interesting, engaging, and emotionally engaging. In other words, you don't want to post an article on how to get abs in a week. Driving sales with PPC The other way to get direct sales is to set up a PPC campaign that will drive potential buyers directly to your website. The great thing about this method is that it will allow you to earn money entirely passively and with the absolute minimum setup. The downside, of course, is that it does involve a little investment. PPC ads are pay-per-click. That means that you're going to pay for the advertising only when the ad gets clicked. The two biggest PPC platforms are Facebook ads, Google AdWords. As long as the amount you pay per click is lower than this, then you can almost guarantee that you will make a profit from your PPC campaign. This is the simple equation to an almost guaranteed marketing campaign. Finding the Perfect Niche In internet marketing blogging parlance, a niche is essentially a subject matter. This is the topic that you will be writing about, and in turn, the industry that you'll be promoting. In the vast majority of cases, affiliate marketing will involve creating content in some form or other. This means you're going to need to write about this topic and find a large audience of people who are interested in reading about it. But at the same time, this will also define the type of product you're selling. If you write about fitness, then you'll need to sell fitness-related products. If you write about music, then you'll need to sell something to do with music, etc. Depending on your niche, you may find that products and services tend to gravitate more toward the high end or the low end. Choosing the right niche is very important when trying to become a successful affiliate. The Goldilocks Niche some niches are too big, some are too small, others are just right. That third category, of course, is the type of niche that you want to find, and the kind that will help you get the very best results. An example of a niche that is too big would be something like bodybuilding. Meanwhile, a niche like bird sewing patterns is just too small. So that Goldilocks niche is somewhere in between. For example, Instead of writing about bodybuilding, you could write about bodybuilding for students. This is still a big niche, but it's also a little more specific than bodybuilding generally, and you'll face a lot less competition. More considerations when choosing your niche. 
When choosing your niche, another thing to consider is the value proposition and the emotional hook. That is to say that the very best niches for an affiliate marketer are the ones that promise something that the reader really wants. Bodybuilding is a great niche in this regard because it promises to help people get into shape. This is something that many of us will have a strong emotional reaction to. We all want to be stronger, fitter, and more defined, and we believe that we'll be more attractive, more confident, and happier as a result. Buying an ebook on fitness seems like a great first step to becoming hot and sexy, and thus we're very happy to spend $30, $50, or $100. Now compare this to the cat niche. The thing is, no matter how much someone loves cats, a cat jumper isn't going to change their life. That means you can't charge much more than $5 or $10 for it. This means you need a much higher turnover in order to make the same amount of profit. The single most important factor. Your involvement with said niche. If you don't know anything about fitness, then you should not create a blog about fitness. If you have no particular interest in knitting, then stay away from that niche. The only caveat is this rule if you are working with a writer or advisor who does love the subject. Becoming a Thought Leader, The True Path to Riches The reason that your involvement and passion for the niche is so important is that you are going to need to do some content marketing and brand building if you want to enjoy the very biggest success possible. As we have touched on, this is how you get to the point where you can select nearly any product and then sell hundreds of thousands of copies. But to get to this point, you need to consistently provide free value for your audience. This is important because it's how you're going to build trust in your audience. It's how you're going to create fans. And it's how you're going to get to a point where your audience wants to come back to you time and time again to see what useful information you've put up. Again, the way to get to this point is by posting about a topic that you genuinely love and find interesting. Of course, there is a moral consideration here, with great power and all that. The sales funnel. A sales funnel is a term used to describe a series of interactions you have with a potential buyer that will allow you to gradually convince them to buy from you. The thing to remember here is that most often people don't buy from strangers. If someone came up to you on the street and offered to sell you a product, you would almost always say no. In affiliate marketing, we can do this legwork by communicating with them in other ways. That might mean by giving away a free report or inviting them to an online seminar. It might mean getting them to sign up to a mailing list. Use an autoresponder like MailChimp or AWeber. This is how you convert a cold lead into a warm lead. They say that you should try to make five touches before attempting to sell. This way, the lead will know and trust you well enough to consider spending money on your brand. Two of the very best strategies you can lead are to create a mailing list and to sell something that is extremely cheap. The mailing list is a very popular strategy in the world of affiliate marketing. Usually, you will offer your subscribers something free, like a PDF report, in exchange for signing up. From here, you can then communicate with them directly in their inbox, which in turn helps to build rapport and trust. You can then use a sales process via your emails to build hype for products before promoting them to your most receptive audience, while not bothering the people who clearly aren't interested. You can do this with a sequence referred to as ADA. Awareness, Interest, Desire, Action. That's four emails that first tease your product, then make it sound interesting, then make it sound amazing, while forcing the readers to wait before giving them the chance to buy. Selling physical products. Finally, there is another option, selling physical products. The advantage is that physical products appeal to more people. People like buying physical products because they get something tangible in exchange for their money. More people also understand physical products. There are a lot of people, like my granddad, who simply don't have any need for digital products. The downside is that physical products offer much smaller commission. The biggest affiliate platform of all is Amazon Associates. This platform has a lot of advantages. For instance, if someone follows you on your links to buy a product but ends up buying something else, then you still get the profit. 
Amazon Associates also provides a lot of useful buttons and tools you can use to make sales. But on the downside, Amazon Associates only offers somewhere in the region of 1-6% to for their products. Most are at the lower end of that spectrum. Amazon also won't pay you in foreign currency, unless it's by check, don't even bother. And it's been well known to simply change its affiliate policies overnight with no warning. Is there money to be made here? Absolutely. Especially if you are selling products that are very expensive like computers, fitness equipment, or similar. But in order to get to this point, you really need to have a website that is attracting hundreds of thousands of views per day. This is the only way to build the kind of success that you need in order to make it big. Countless other options. That said, there are countless other options too. For example, you might choose to sell an online course. These are excellent affiliate schemes that offer a lower percentage than most digital products, but will have better terms than Amazon. You can even find sites that will allow you to sell MBAs. This has potential to earn you a huge amount of cash, and it's a great feeling helping people to better themselves by extending their learning. A great example of a niche with a real mission statement and value proposition. Remember, too, that you can always try contacting manufacturers and brands personally in order to discuss potential schemes. This way you can haggle for the best deal while representing a brand that you believe in and that fewer other people are offering. If you're already a big influencer, you'll likely find this is more successful than if you're a little-known nobody. There are other business models that are slightly different but tangential to affiliate marketing too. For example, you could look into dropshipping. This will let you sell a product that will be stored and delivered by a third-party manufacturer, but that will be marketed and branded as though it was yours. You can find companies happy to do this on sites like Alibaba, and it's one of the best business models available for online entrepreneurs. Scaling up Whatever strategy you decide, eventually you should be in a place where you have a funnel in place. That will mean you have a blog or are just posting on social media, and by doing that, you are getting more and more cold and warm links to your site. You're then collecting those emails, hitting them with a carefully crafted autoresponder sequence, and then sending them over to your site where you are eventually converting them into buyers. It's a bit like a spider creating their web. All you need to do now is to increase the volume of traffic, or flies, so that more and more get ensnared. One way to do this is to reinvest your profits into advertising. As long as you pay less than you earn per visitor on average, then you can grow and grow your traffic and keep increasing your profits. The other option? Repeat this whole process again and again, conquering different niches each time you do. That's the wonderful thing about affiliate marketing. There is nothing to stop you from building as many revenue streams as you want. It is literally endlessly scalable you need to continuously post high-quality content. That might mean on YouTube, on your blog, or on social media, ideally on all three. You need to maintain your brand message, and you need to interact with your fans. Keep building that rapport. Keep providing value, and only promote items that you're truly a fan of. You might be worried at this point. What if you don't have a message to share? What if there isn't a niche you're an expert in? What if you don't like writing or making YouTube videos? And here's the thing. You don't have to be any of those things to begin with. Instead, you need to gradually become that amazing guru or marketer. The only way to do this is through practice. And once again, that is why it is so important to enjoy the process, to really love the topic, to be passionate about what you're selling. This is a skill that needs to be developed over time like any other. It most assuredly is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Yes, you can set up a muse and start earning some cash very quickly if you know how, and you do. But in order to succeed at the very highest level, you need to become someone that people consider an authority in your niche and who has something exciting and new to say. That takes time. But it's great fun, and the destination is more than worth the time you'll put in to get there.